hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna start by unboxing this package i got from mccart they sent over to me so thank you mccart for always sending me so many goodies i love all of the mccart products i receive and in the videos i always talk highly of mccart products so let's just go ahead and get right into it so what they sent me for today's video are these disco gel liners as you guys know they recently launched the entire disco collection they have i believe about 12 or 13 poly gels and they also have um the actual gels in these same colors this is going to be rather a short unboxing but now that i have these disco gel liners to add to my collection i'm super excited to show you guys how they look so these are all of the liner gels all laid out and as you can see, they come in a lot of different colors. We have some really bright colors, and then we also have like a gold and like a white for like some basic and neutral colors. I'm just gonna be showing how they look in the names of these. And also these are reflective gels, so I will be showing that as well once I finish showing you guys what they all look like. So as we get down to the last color, which is this gorgeous blue, this blue always catches my eye and every time I want to use it so bad, but the design that I think of is never with the blue. Um, but see, so yeah, I turned off all of my lights and I wanted to show you guys how they reflect from the bottle. I love these reflective gels. They are so reflective. Like the camera doesn't even do them justice. And I feel like that's with everything that I show, like the camera never does it justice. But it does look pretty good on the camera as well but in person it looks 10 times better and these are just so so gorgeous and i love them so much and if you're like me and you love sparkly nails something that glitters these will be perfect for you but before you go to the link in my um description box and go straight to these i'm gonna mention something a little bit later so stick around for that um, but yeah, I think all of these gels are so, so gorgeous. So now that you've seen them without the flash and also with the flash, I'm going to go ahead and start applying my nails. So I'm taking out my Melanie Susie 2-in-1 light. Um, I did do a review on this and I will link that video up in the cards if you want to check it out. But it does cure on your nails and then also it is a flashlight. Well, not like a flashlight, but like it has a light on it so that you can see what you're doing. But yeah, I'm going to be using these full cover nail tips that I got from AliExpress and I'm using my Bella Vina 2-in-1 base coat gel and I'm just going to be applying these using the Apray method. I just put a little bit of gel right there in the nail tip. I always start at the cuticle area to minimize the spillage near the cuticle and you want to flow all of that product over the entire nail surface and once you have it straight with no air bubbles, I just slowly take it to the light and allow it to cure. I do only flash cure for about 10 to 15 seconds, sometimes maybe even less just because the light works that good. But once I do have them all on, I do put them in my bigger light for a full 30 to 60 seconds just to make sure they are fully cured. This apray method has been one of the easiest methods to apply nail tips, especially if you want something really quick and you don't want to do like poly gel, like the regular application with poly gel or acrylic dip powder. And especially if you don't know how to do those, this is a quick and easy way that you can apply your nails. And doing this, you want to make sure that you prep your nails as usual. You want to dehydrate your nail bed. Then also add some primer and then go in with the base coat. I don't think I ever did a video on how to like properly prep your nails just because I'm always popping them off right after. So I don't really have to do that step. But I've been thinking about doing like a prep video and like actually prep my nails and keeping them on. So I actually might do that pretty pretty soon. But for now I just apply my pillow base coat so I can easily pop these off. And so now that I have all of my nails on, I'm going to be taking my Jade Plus True from Melody Susie. 
I recently just did a review on this drill as well. It's one of my new additions and I absolutely love this drill so much. Like I honestly cannot tell you guys how much I love it. It's so small, light, and compact and like it has so much power. It works very nicely. The review video for this one will also be linked in the cards or either down in the description box. Um, along with this video, I also did my first fall set of the year. So if you want to check that out, make sure to go ahead and click the link wherever I end up putting it. And I'm just going around the cuticle areas just to get up any of the spillage. I didn't really have much, but I always take this step just because it's so important. I like to make sure that they look really flush to the nails and like that cuticle area, it doesn't look like a really big press on nail. Like I don't really like that look personally. So I go around the cuticle area even if I don't have spillage and just get that and make it look a lot more seamless and neat. And then along with that, I do take a nail file and I just lightly go over like the free edge of the nail to remove that little piece of plastic because once I put the gel polish on the nails, I don't like to file because I feel like the dust gets everywhere and personally, I just like to do this step before so I just go ahead and do it now and remove all of the dust and get right into my nail design. So for this nail design, I'm going to start off with the Jelly Gel Nail Polish Kit from McCart. So I actually purchased this a while ago off Amazon, like a while, a while ago. The box have a little bit of dust on it because it's literally just been sitting. But I finally pulled this out and I'm going to attempt to use it today. And one of the main reasons why I bought this is because Vanity Val. Like she always uses this hot pink jelly color for her press on nails when she's doing like fringes and it looks so good and like so bright. Like I just love this color so much. So I was like, I have to get it. So thank you Vanity Val for putting me on this. Once y'all see how this color goes onto the nail, you're going to know exactly why I bought it. So I went ahead and pulled out the pink because of course we had to go ahead and use it first. Like just look how gorgeous this pink is. Like it's so bright and hot pink but it's also still very translucent to where like the combinations are just so perfect. And it's really bright and bold like I just can't really explain it but you see how it looks on the nail and it's so so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, It's giving me like Barbie like hot girl Barbie like I don't know like it's so pretty though. If you want these, I will have them linked down below. Since I did get these from Amazon, I don't have a code. But if you go to the website, you can use my discount code. I'm not sure if they have these on the website. I didn't really look, but I will go ahead and look. And if they are, I will link down below so that you can use my code for these. But if not, I will have the Amazon link, the link down below as well. And I went ahead and just did a full solid nail. And I went back in on one side just because I wanted to do like an ombre with the jelly colors, but I didn't know it wasn't going to work. So once I used the pink to go over one side again, I started using the purple and it just wasn't showing up as bright enough. Like the purple was not really showing. So I did just end up wiping this off and I was kind of upset because I already didn't really know what to do with the gel liners. So I was just like, I'm just going to wipe it off i'm gonna continue i'm not gonna give up yet so i just went ahead and did a second coat using the hot pink color and once i finish i'm gonna cure in my light for 30 to 60 seconds and so now to bring in the desco gel liners i'm gonna start off by taking my purple so everything from here is like freestyle i didn't know what i was gonna do um so i'm just gonna take the purple but I'm also kind of incorporating like my original design. I wanted to do like some zebra print using like the reflective disco gel liner. So I'm going to continue doing that all the way up the nail. And honestly, I just really hope for the best with this design because for some reason it was so hard for me to figure out a design with using these disco gel liners. So one thing that I wanted to mention about these disco gel liners is that Honestly, for me, like even though I didn't purchase these myself, they were sent to me as PR, but looking at it from like a buyer's perspective, I feel like these would be a waste for you to buy 
because I did receive like the regular gel bottles like without them being like really skinny liner gels. I did also receive those. When they dropped those I seen like all of the nail designs being created and, and like 90% of the people were actually using like the regular gels as like nail art. They were putting the gels on the nail palette and just using nail art brushes which I feel like is very convenient. So if you were to just get those I don't really feel the need for you to like go out and purchase literally the same colors like let me just tell you like these are literally the same colors same names basically same everything just like in line of gel form so if you do want to go out and purchase these just keep that in mind like i just feel like it's really unnecessary for you to buy both of them because you can just use the regular gels as gel liners and that's just me personally i do like my cart and i do like these gel liners um, but one thing I always will be honest with you guys and give you like my honest opinion and that's just how I feel so if you want these just go out and purchase like the regular gel bottles and just use those as liner gels and that way if you do want to use them as like regular polish or do like full coverage nails you can also have the bigger brush and yeah that's just how I feel so my code will be linked down below if you do want to purchase those and as you can see, I went ahead and added my top coat and everything to my first nail because I wanted to see how it was going to turn out. My first nail was basically going to like tell me whether I should scrap this design and keep going or anything. So I actually liked how it turned out. Like it was pretty decent. So I was just like, let me keep going. And, and even though my original design was not really turning out right, like I said, everything from there was like freestyle. So I did pick out more colors of those jelly mccart gels and i'm just doing each nail one full solid color the process of these nails is gonna go by very quickly um it's just basically something fun to do i like once i finished the nails i honestly was not even gonna post them but i was really loving how the pictures turned out like I asked my sister, y'all know I always ask my sister like for advice and everything. So once I finished, I was like, should I just do like a completely different design using these gel liners or should I just take pictures as if I'm gonna post these and like just have that mindset to like not discard this video. And when I finished taking the pictures, I actually like how the pictures turned out. So that really motivated me to just go ahead and edit and do the voiceover and just have something like fun because the nails don't really have to be perfect all of the time. It will be mistakes. The designs may not turn out how you want them to be every time. And just like you guys say in the comments all the time, I'm being hard on myself a lot. So I'm just gonna cut myself some slack and just and just upload this. It's just something very fun. I'm still using the products, so like it's not really like nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, that's just what made me upload the video. So if you can, just make sure that you go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And then also make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you always get notified when I upload a video. So I did cure the first layer in my life for about 30 to 60 seconds and now I'm just going over the nails with the same color doing a second coat. And so now once I have that cured, um, the idea for the rest of the nails is just to use like the gel liners and do random lines on them just to showcase like different ways that you can do designs. And since these are gel liners, I figure I should just do like a lot of nail art. So the rest of the nails are going to be really random and just like really fun to do. Um, I honestly didn't know what I was going to do. So like this is just the first thing that came to mind. So I'm going to be taking a few of the colors of the gel liners and just doing random things on the nail. And that's basically how this nail is going to go. Um, I am going to leave a little bit of space at the top just because I wanted to put like a little beaded charm there just like I did on my points of finger. And so yeah, there's not really much to explain. So I'm just going to let the rest of this part play out and let you guys enjoy this video.
So now that I have all of my random lines, yeah, that's basically how it went. I'm going to go ahead and go over all of the nails with my not polished top coat. This is one of my favorite top coats. It's super glossy, really thick. It goes on really good. It's super shiny. Um, I'm just going to go over all of my nails with this top coat and then cure in the light. So just as I have like on my pointer finger, I did add a little beaded charm. And one thing about this, I started using like the little pink ones. I found a star to put on that one. And then at this moment, I realized I didn't have like the colors I needed in stars. So for the rest of them, they are going to be hearts. It kind of threw it off just a little bit, but not really too much. Since they did all still have the same vibe, I wasn't really worried about it too much. And like I said, um, I didn't even know if I was actually going to post this or not, but that's just how everything ended up. But once I do get these little beaded charms on there, I'm going to cure. I just love seeing nails with these little beaded hearts and charms on them. They give me like a really sweet kawaii vibe. Like these are just super adorable to me and I love using them. And now we're just going to add some cuticle oil. This is one of my favorites to use. This is the soy cuticle oil from Macart, which will also be linked down below. And so yeah, once I rub that in, here's how the finished set looks. So this is not really my typical style, I feel like, but these are like really, really cute. And I feel like it was a really good way to showcase all of these reflective glitter gel liners. Um, I really love the color in these, like that pop of color is just everything. Um, I feel like I want to do like a few more like summer or bright sets before going straight into like fall and Halloween. So this was a good addition to add to that before I completely stop. And like I said, the reason I actually uploaded this is just because how the pictures turn out with the flash. Like I really did love how the pictures look. So thanks to those pictures, I'm really glad I was in that mindset to like take pictures as if I was actually going to post it. My favorite thing about these is how they look with the flash on. Like it looks so incredible and just so gorgeous. So if you do want to purchase these, I will have these linked down below, but my advice to you is just get like the full bottles and just use those as gel liners. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this nail set and also these gel liners in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.